We are down here in Austin, Texas at the UT Track Stadium, Michael A. Myers, with two awesome decathletes. Will you please introduce yourself, Mr. Lyndon Victor from Grenada. How old are you? I'm 24 years old. All right. <laughs> He's a collegiate record holder in the decathlon. NCAA and champion. Trey Hardy, former de uh, collegiate record holder <laughs> in the decathlon. Uh, that's it. All right, welcome. A little chat here. We uh, did a little chat here six years ago, Trey, up in the uh, corner yeah. back there, and uh, we had some some pretty fun time on that. Uh, now, a lot of water has gone into the bridge since then, um, and uh, you've uh, accomplished many different things. Any any particular things that stick out? What is the, what is the? Oh. Since then, I mean, shoot, uh, I got married. All right. Um, had a had a little girl. Yeah. This year, Francesca Nora Hardy. Uh, she's almost eight months old now, and so that's yeah. Those are the big ones. Yeah. Um, but I think since the last talk, you know, on the track, I've won one more world championship, uh, an Olympic silver medal, uh, qualified for two more, three more world championship teams. Um, about to head over to back to London for my fifth uh, world championships. That is a pretty good series right there. Now, what what would you uh, would you uh, Trade Olympic for uh, world. What? What? Which is higher in your? Which is a, a more sweet uh, world championship or a silver in London? Shoot, right now, another world championship would be pretty cool. But the, the year that I had leading up to the Olympic medal, the silver medal, was really special. Um, I tore my elbow into pieces uh, winning the, the world championships in 2011, and then had eight months to get ready to try to make the team and. Uh, couldn't do a lot of the events till really late in the season and never, never threw jab uh, till the very first throw at the Olympic trials and then uh, only threw two more times and that was at the Olympics and ended up throwing really I mean, about 10 meters further than I thought I could possibly throw and kind of threw myself you know onto the podium um, that was pretty special that was really cool taught me a lot about uh, kind of just sacrifice and, and doing the work when you're, when you're able to do the work and working smart and, and hard at the same time and um, that, that's just a, a season of my life I can look back on and just, I got really lucky. I had the right people around me and was doing the right stuff and, and put in all the work and effort and, and time that it took. And had just an awesome support staff and awesome partner in my wife who helped me along the way and that was just really, really cool. And then the World Championships were just, those are cool, those are awesome like, yeah. to look back on. I was number one in the world, uh, world's greatest athlete for the time and it was, it was cool just to like, sit on top of the mountain for a little bit, but I think life's more about what you do when it gets hard. So I think yeah. that the, the Olympic medal is way more special to me just because of what, what led up to that and, and what that was about. And I shoot, I got to watch Ashton break the world record. And <laughs> if I was gonna get beat, at least the guy was American. So yeah. um, it was cool. That was, that was, that's a little more special. Yeah, I was so fortunate to be able to be in the stands watching the javelin as you yeah. were throwing. I was yelling and screaming. It was, yeah. it was, uh, it was an awesome story coming through. Yeah, that's to, a cool to a conclusion. If, if I'm ever feeling down, I, I pull up that video and think back and like, yeah, kind of get, I kind of re get reinvigorated. There, there you go.